everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to The Fort Report. Mosquito season has already started and some mosquitoes carry a West Nile virus, so getting rid of mosquitoes is crucial to everyone's health. Mosquitoes are one of the insects that require water for their life cycle. The egg is actually laid in water, within a few days it hatches and becomes a, a larvae. Uh, these larvae almost look like little worms. Once they hatch it takes four days to eight days for them to mature into an, an adult mosquito. As part of their life cycle, the, the larvae actually uh, filter decaying vegetable matter, uh, rotten leaves, uh, bird droppings, whatever's in the water, they filter it and that's how they grow and develop into uh, an adult mosquito. Rob's crew traps mosquitoes and submits them to the Tarrant County Public Health Department where they're tested for West Nile virus. So far, they all came back negative for West Nile, but there are steps you can take to prevent mosquito bites. The easiest thing that, that people can do is, is personal protection. Besides removing or destroying uh, homemade breeding sites, cans, bottles, jars, the proverbial giant white bucket that everybody seems to have somewhere around their house, don't breed your own mosquitoes. So dump these out, change the water out in them every three to five days. If the item is so big that you can't change the water out, go to one of the uh, home improvement stores and buy what is called a mosquito donut. It contains a, uh, a bacteria that is only dangerous to the mosquito larvae. It does not harm any other animals, won't harm the birds, won't harm squirrels, cats. It is only harmful to the mosquito larvae. And some of the other things that you can do is uh, try to avoid being outside at the, the height of their activity at dusk and dawn. Um, wear long sleeves when you can. This gives less skin exposure for the mosquito to get to. Also, you need to, to use a mosquito repellent. Uh, the most popular is, is DEET. You can also organize a neighborhood effort, and that's why 5x5 Five Five program was created. You talk to five people to your right, your neighbors, five people to your left, five people across the street, all get together, all kind of go through your own yards. If somebody has a big yard or a vacant lot next to them, you'll all go through, through it. And, and dump those extra containers. Make sure that there's, there's nothing there that we, we're doing homegrown mosquitoes with. For more information about West Nile virus, just visit the city's website. And if you know of an abandoned house with a mosquito breeding site, call 817-392-EASY. Crud Cruiser Mobile collection events for household hazardous waste help keep our community cleaner and prevent stormwater pollution by offering safe and convenient disposal for household chemical products in your own neighborhood. Our Crud Cruiser is a 36-foot trailer that we use to carry our household hazardous waste. We go around different areas in the community and different community centers to uh, service people's households where they're at. Last year, Crud Cruiser held 66 mobile collection events and collected more than 620,000 pounds of household hazardous waste. We'll take your paint, your pesticides, herbicides, batteries, anything that we would normally take at the Environmental Collection Center, we can take at the uh, mobile collection event. Crud Cruiser events are only for residents of the host city, so please bring proof of residency, a driver's license, or water bill. The events are drive through so you don't even need to leave your car. Bring all of your waste uh, upright in containers, uh, preferably not black bags, but uh, keep it organized. You don't have to segregate it or do anything special. Just put it in a way that's easy for us to, to put onto our trailer and so we can just take that and go. Keep the line moving. Don't forget, you can always drop off chemical waste at the Environmental Collection Center on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Check online for hours and acceptable items. To find out when the Crud Cruiser is coming to your neighborhood, visit the website. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth in the next few weeks. For 
listing of more events and city meetings, you can always check the calendar at the city's website.